Taurus. Welcome to Auntie Tarot. Today we're doing your love reading for March 2022. Congratulations to all you Taurus out there. You guys came in first for the most view video last month. So as a result, I'm doing your reading first. So we see these two cards that fell out. Four of Coins and Temperance. Holding on to finances. And I'm also getting maybe re-evaluating finances. Holding on to financing and also re-evaluating finances and possibly also trying to hold on to a person although these are coins but sometimes it's basically holding on to something or someone assets funds money what's coming to me is probably holding on to assets because this is healing temperance trying to balance and heal and there's a lot of fire over here so I don't know if I'll, I know I'm going to pull more, more cards, but the impression I'm getting from this may be some kind of conflict. And you guys may be afraid of, as a result of the conflict, maybe you guys may lose or have to give up some finances. So you're trying to hold on to finances, evaluate your finances, and also trying to balance your emotion. It looks like there's some turmoil going on here with maybe anger, fire, fiery, very emotional. So let's see. That's first impression with just the cards that jump out. But let's see. Yeah. See, as I say that, bottom of the deck, we have conflict. So a lot of fighting, struggle, arguments, perhaps. Alrighty. So that was six of wands. So we have the devil. Okay, so there's some toxicity, negativity, darkness, attachment, maybe codependency, issues going on here. Alright. Hmm. Alright, let's shuffle some more. Spirit guides, angels, Son of Masters. Two cards come out again. We have Page of Coins. And look, you guys, this was the King of Cups that was on top. But I put him back because I didn't think he was uh, significant or relevant. Obviously he is because he popped right back out. So there's a message coming in. But King of Cups is a water sign. So there may be a water sign involved coming to make some kind of offer or someone offering their emotions. But water sign can also be very reserved with their emotion. So perhaps someone could be holding back their emotions. All right, so let's clarify. Let's pull a card to clarify. Spirit guides, angels, Senate masters, please clarify the King of Cups for Taurus reading in regards to right, the star. So the star is wish fulfillment and she's reaching for her highest aspiration dreams. Okay, so there's going to be a message coming in from a water sign. So a water sign may be coming in to make some kind of an offer that you've been waiting for or you've been wishing for. So that's nice. I wonder what was that? I wonder, I wonder if that was the recent past that you just left behind. Hmm, as I say, that bottom of the deck is death. So you may have had just an ending or an ending of a relationship that may have just ended. 
And this may be new energy coming in for you guys. Let's see. Spirit guys, angels, ascendant masters, additional messages for Taurus Collective who will be tuning in. So here's you guys. This is definitely your reading. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have strength. And I thought I saw strength. Did I see strength before? So trying to be strong. So you guys are trying to be strong. Tame your inner anger or inner darkness. Trying to hold it together. Be strong. You guys may be depressed or uninterested or disinterested in something or not seeing something so there is some kind of message for you guys right here in front of your face from the light that you're refusing to see or not seeing or closing your eyes to she has her eyes closed this is like bright right here right in front of your face and it's full of brightness but you guys are shunning it or closing your eyes to it all right yeah there's something you're not seeing that's hitting the moon let's clarify let's clarify what you guys are not seeing Spirit guys, angels, ascendant masters, please clarify the moon. What is hidden? Huh. So this is regrets, pain, sorrow, ending. All right. Please clarify the moon, spirit. Please clarify the moon. All right. Wow. So pain, wound, still hanging on. So you guys have been hurt somehow or went through some kind of battle. Like this is like a guy in battle, wounded, all bandaged up, still standing strong. That's why we have the strength card. Still standing strong, taking a stance, hanging on. So there's this fighting toxicity that you're trying to heal and balance. Either you're trying to hold on or they, they're trying to hold on. But there's something hidden that you're not seeing. Trying to be strong. Trying to balance. So look, there's this intuition again with the yin and yang. And this right here is trying to balance. So you guys are trying to balance and heal something. But I get a sense like something is tugging at you guys. Or holding you guys. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck we have the world ending. Ending, closing a chapter, closing a phase. Judgment. So there's a wake up call. Alright, so there, your guys or angels are trying to bring your attention to something. Like light to the darkness of something. Yeah, there's a new creative beginning, new beginning for you guys. Yeah, so you guys um, may have been or will be spending time alone in solitude, maybe contemplating meditation. But you, you guys will have this enlightenment. So you will finally see, see this light that Spirit's trying to wake you up to or bring to your attention. So you'll have that spiritual insight, awareness, that aha moment, moment when the light bulb goes off. See this judgment call, wake up call. Okay, so a new chapter. So you guys may have finished a phase or a chapter in your life closing that chapter moving on to the next phase next chapter yeah the sun came out in the pre-shuffle so there's uh happiness coming in for you guys illumination light my sunflower happiness 
reconnection perhaps with someone from your past or nostalgia from childhood days two of wands planning oh planning on walking away okay so you guys may be planning on walking away from a relationship or ending from a relationship that is not satisfying your soul because this girl right here is interest like disinterest boredom so something yeah you're going to be walking away from something that's not satisfying you to in, in search of something more fulfilling that may be more satisfying to your soul so you guys may be planning right now okay so you may be planning to walk away so maybe you have not yet and that's why you guys are taking a hard look at your finances and your assets to see so there's regrets did we have that over here we had that when I pull a clarify, clar, clarifying card. So there are some regrets, remorse about something. There's heavy burdens here. So there's this sense of responsibility or heavy burden. Hmm. Look, we have the death card again. So the death card here. And we had that death card over here with the clarifying deck. But I didn't pull it out. I had already reshuffle. So so death showed up twice and then the world. So, so you guys are definitely ending something. Since this is a love reading, I'm assuming you're ending a relationship. Either you have already ended or about to or thinking about it. But moving on, a chapter of your life is closing. Moving on to the next phase. But there is some regrets and remorse, and there's there's a lot on your shoulders. Heavy weight, heavy burden on your shoulders. But we do have the star again, you guys. There is wish fulfillment coming in for you guys. Your highest aspiration, like reaching for the star. Healing, balancing. Moving forward, like I said, like a totally new phase, a new chapter of your life. Like one, one phase, one chapter closed, another one open. Justice. So there's going to be balance. Justice and balance. You have the judgment card, wake up call, and there's a justice card too. So there's justice. Yep, definitely enlightenment, hangman. This guy's hanging upside down, seeing things from a different perspective, seeing outside the box, seeing um, different views, different angles, maybe looking at things differently than you may have been, comes with this aha moment. All these cards right here, this energy, judgment, wake up call, the hermit, the light illumination, hangman, light. Look at this, there's light here and there's this light here. So there's a higher power, light, guys, angels, whatever, coming in, bringing light into your life, giving you a ha moment. Look, four, four of wands, 11, 11, twin flames. There may be a twin flame coming in for you guys. Someone that's more of your, um, that resonate more with your soul or your soul mission. Because remember I was saying you guys are walking away from something that no longer satisfies, that doesn't fulfill your soul on a deeper level. Look, walking away in search of something more fulfilling from a soul perspective. Because right here, this she's disinterested, boredom. So you guys are like wanting or seeking or thirsting or seeking something more, something deeper. That you may not have been getting healing so there's been some pain there's some conflict here and then we have this devil card and this is a healing card like usually it's a warrior healing after a battle and resting yeah you guys have been stabbed have been hurt that's why there's this sorrow remorse pain and you guys are healing from it, trying to heal from it. 
being lifted up and you will heal from it because you have the sun card and happiness coming in we have the lovers the lovers three of wands looking ahead into the future expansion yeah there's this uh, struggle fighting defeat feeling So we have the Emperor taking charge, Knight of Swords, Forward Movement, Queen of Coins. This is you guys. Three of Cups. I don't know if there was a three-party situation. There may have been a three-party situation. And then there's the Tower Movement. New Clarity and Insight. All right, so let's clarify the Three of Cups just to see what this Three of Cups. Spirit guides, angel, good grief. Two of Wands, planning. Five of Swords, Nine of Cups. Spirit guides, angel, Senate masters, please clarify the Three of Cups. Please clarify the Three of Cups. Hanged one. Yeah. This is like the hangman. Wherever he is. Seeing things from a different perspective. You had an enlightenment. You saw something that you didn't see before. That was hidden. Look. The hermit again. These two cars are the same energy. You have the hermit and the hang, hangman twice. So you guys had like an eye-opening experience, like an aha moment. Something that may have been hidden from you that you didn't see. That you now see clearly. All right. So... Let's see, going forward, what is going... Okay, so what's the final outcome for Taurus in regards to this relationship, Spirit? Final outcome for Taurus? What in the world? Queen of Swords. Yeah, clarity. Truth. Justice. There may also be an air sign involved, a Gemini, a Libra, or uh, an Aquarius fire sign as well. Eight of Wands, quick message. Deception, Seven of Swords. Equal balance, scale of balance. We had that Justice card. Two of Coins, balancing, juggling. Three of Swords. This Three of Swords had came out before in the pre-shuffle heartbreak. Okay, so for some of you, Taurus, I believe there was a three-party situation. Two different people. Perhaps an air sign and a fire sign. There's conflict. Yeah, there's eight of swords feeling trapped. So the, the card up top is the full new beginning. So walking away, taking a risk, starting all over, starting anew, starting fresh. Yeah, starting fresh. Walking away. But there is happiness coming in for you guys because we have the sun, we have the wake up call. Perhaps it's something you know that you're supposed to do, but you hung on because of perhaps the attachment or the codependency. And perhaps the there may be money involved. Like if you break up, you don't want to have to split the money. But Spirit's giving you a wake-up call. And this is a major arcana, so an ending, completion. 
So you finish, you pay your dues, you finish your your soul contract. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Good grief. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I think this is the romance that's coming in. Because remember I said 1111. Your twin flame may be coming in. Someone that resonates better with you. I think that's the energy coming in. And then we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Because there was a holding on. So I'm getting a, a, a message. If you have to release the old to allow the new to come in. Because there's attachment. So there's a new energy, new love. Someone that uh, match your vibration better. Someone that you sync with better. But there's maybe codependency attachment or holding on to the old and there's new love coming in stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance yeah there's a new love coming in for you guys if you can't let go of the old old one. Okay, additional messages. So we have falling in love, the present moment, and forever. Yeah, for a moment. So being in the present moment, meaning let go of the past, close this chapter, and let go of the past. Be in the now, be in the present moment. Or movements coming in. Look, happiness is happiness is to love. You have that sunflower card with the sun. So there's something coming in for you guys or trying to come in or almost it's like right there. New growth, new shoot. But it's uh maybe at the outskirts because there's certain energy blocking it. So it's waiting to come in. Look at this, you guys. Bottom of the deck. Intimate meaning. Yeah. And we have intimacy next. Alright. So final cards with these spiritual cards. Spirit guys. Angel. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Okay. So this has to do with this finances holding on to money. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance and this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Surrender your attachment to results. Remember I kept, kept picking up attachments. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen then let go of the results holding on too tightly. Oh my God, to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Yeah, so I'm getting a sense you need to release a little bit. That's why I said you have to, it's like someone's holding on to something. Like if I'm holding on to this, the O, but someone is trying to bring love to me or the universe, and they're throwing this at me, but I have this in my hand, in order for me to get, catch this, if someone's throwing it to me, I have to let go of this in order to be able to catch this. Look at this heart. So if you guys can release and let go, there is a new love coming in for you. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Surrender to success. Surrender to divine timing. Surrender to what is. Surrender stubbornness, which makes sense for you, Taurus. I know sometimes you Tauri Taurians can be stubborn as the sign of the bull. And surrender to joy. Surrender to play. Surrender to inner peace. Surrender to effortless effortlessness. And that's about being in the flow, 
letting things flow naturally, organically, not trying to control or hold on. Just allow. All right, you guys. So I hope that resonated. Let me know in the comments if it did. Thanks for watching. Wishing you all the best. Love and light to you. And I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.